Creating a professional looking website is easy with Office 365 for small businesses. In this video, we'll customize the public facing site that comes with Office 365 by adding images, new pages, changing the colors, and more. To begin, we'll start with the live website that comes with Office 365 for small businesses. We can see it's pretty basic and has just a few pages like Home, About Us, and Contact Us. Each page has placeholder text or instructional text on what you can add there. There's also a member login link that when clicked takes you to the internal team site in Office 365, which is where I need to go to customize our site. So I'll do that now and I'm prompted for my credentials. I'll sign in as Scott, one of the marketing employees at our Coho Vineyard. This takes me to our internal team site at Coho. On the team site, I see everything about our business, our customers, employees, inventory, and so on. Also in the top navigation, we see a link to website, which is where I need to go. When I click this, I'm taken to our site designer tools for the public facing website. Now I'm not viewing our actual website yet, just the infrastructure and tools area for the site. If I want to view the actual site, I can just click view website here, which opens the site in a new browser. I'll close this for now. And on the left, we see links to web pages, images, documents, and templates. In the pages area, I can create and edit the web pages on our site. I can use images to upload any custom pictures or graphics for the site, use documents to upload and store any documents we might want to make available for download, and templates for saving your customized pages as templates. I'll start with web pages, where I see the pages we were talking about earlier, Home, About Us, Contact Us, and Sitemap. I'll select the Home page, which opens the Site Designer tool, where I can really customize our site with different colors, layouts, themes, and more. I first want to choose Color, and I'll pick Mocha, because it's similar to our company brand. I can see the new colors are applied right away. Next, I'd like to change the logo and theme of the site. So I'll choose theme here, choose a related industry like food and beverage, and then the picture of the wine glass. At the top of the web page itself is the site title and subtitle that will appear on every page of the site. I need to change this, so I'll click on it directly and type in Coho Vineyard for the title and I'll enter our mission statement for the slogan. And then OK. I'll leave the other design options for now, like background, layout, and style sheets. So what about the actual content that appears on each page? The words, the pictures, the links, and so on. For this, I just place my cursor on the page where I want to change it and start typing. I'll put in a welcome message here with a brief description of who we are. I also want a picture to go with this, one I have on my desktop. So on the Insert tab, I'll choose Image, and then My Computer, and I'll browse for the file on my desktop. I'll then choose to float the image to the right. So far, all of our changes look good, but they haven't actually been applied to the live site yet. As soon as I click Save, the changes are applied to the live site. Next, we'll open the Contact Us page, which I get to by simply clicking the link on the left navigation area. Right now, we have just general information and placeholder text. I could add more text, pictures, links, and so on, but I'd like to add some functionality, which I get by using Gadgets. A gadget provides common website features or dynamic content like a slideshow mapped to your business or a local weather report. For our site, I'd like to add the Contact Us gadget so that our visitors and customers have a way to reach us on the web. In the Contact Us settings, I'll enter the email address where we want to send the customer's information. I'll use our Info email account for this. Now when people fill up the form, their name, contact information, and question will be emailed to this account. There are other gadgets as well to choose from, like the maps, weather, and slideshows. One gadget that can be very useful 
is the HTML gadget. With this, you can add your own HTML code. So for example, if you wanted to show a blog, Facebook page, or other site content on your own website, you could embed the inline frame HTML here. Eventually, you'll outgrow these pages and want to add more web pages to your site. For our site, I'm going to add a Coho events page. So on the home tab, I'll choose new page, company calendar, I'll give this a title, and I'll give it a file name. Under navigation, I'll choose shorter name like events, and leave top level as parent so that an events link appears on every page of the site, and OK. With the page created, I can start filling it up with content, text, images, gadgets, and so on. I preview the site now and see that it's coming together nicely with just a few changes. At this point, visitors and customers can find us on the web, learn about our business, and contact us with any questions they have. I'm going to close out of the Site Designer tool now and return to our team site. And while I'm here, I'm going to check email real quick. As I open my mail in Outlook Web Access, I'm surprised to see a new message from a customer on our website. He's asking about our latest product. With Office 365 for small businesses, you can see how quickly and easily you can customize your website without having to know all that much about websites.